everybody. This is Maria C., the Sizzix Lady from itchcheaperthantherapy.com. We're going to just get right on started. This is the Die Cuts to Die For episode um, of the virtual event for Scrapbook Expo at Home Edition with itchcheaperthantherapy.com. And so what I'd like to just get started, I mean, this is just really what we do here is die cuts, die cuts, die cuts. We were the first to ever sell Sizzix in the world when they debuted in 2001 and we're really super proud of it. One of the things I wanted to show you is, um, we've all done die cutting, we all do the basic things through the machines, but let's go a little step further. These are journal dies here. So let's start off with this one right here. This is the actual wraparound journal. And it's actually very full. It was a gift made from Dana Fink uh, for me. And I love it, love it, love it with the hot air balloons and stuff in there. But the, the uh, wraparound journal, the wrap journal can be done in different ways. This is actually the wrap journal here. This is actually a picture of the wrap journal, as you can see. And so this is a thicker die. And with the thicker dies, um, you wanna make sure that your machine can accommodate it. But um, this can be the, this is cut out of leather, actually real leather. You could do the, um, you know, leather paper. But I wanted to show you some different versions of the wrap journal. So I'm gonna move this one aside. And this is actually the wrap journal as well. This one right here, this is just cut out of matte board with a pattern paper glued to it. But look at what a really fun thing a gift would be for somebody starting school, you know, a good project over the summer, you know, while we're stuck inside at times. And so this is actually the wrap journal as well, just kind of a more in a harder surface. This one right here, you can make it into a purse. This is actually the wrap journal as well. So with the wrap journal, inside of this one is really pretty cool. So this is kind of where things kind of correlate together. All right, this one here is actually the passport journal. So the passport journal here actually fits inside this wrap journal purse. That's adorable. And with the, with the uh, passport journal, I'm gonna show you a couple different versions of the passport journal. Um, and I'm gonna show you how they kind of correlate into things as well. And so this is the passport journal here. And so when you get the passport journal, you get this die right here. But down here is where you get the pages, the spine, and this you'd cut it twice for your front and back cover. Uh, the really cool thing about it is these pages. These pages will fit another book and it's called Notebook and I'm gonna show you that here in just a moment. But this one here, like I said, is just cut out of chipboard or mat board with pattern paper on it. And you can do little, you know, uh, journals and wonder and little flip cards and so many things that you could possibly think of. But this one right here, this one is actually um, touches my heart too, just like the ones with Dana. This was a, a gift that was made for me here. It actually has a dedication page. And it actually, um, it, it made me tear up because of the ladies that made this for me. Um, I love them to death. You know, you guys are wonderful and I miss you guys um, when I come up to, uh, you know, the Jersey one, Edison. And so hopefully I'll get to see you guys sooner than later. But in the meantime, hello everybody. Um, I sure miss uh, the face-to-face -face contact when I like to show all of these and get your reactions. But if your reaction is anything close to mine, it's just as beautiful. This is all hand stitched. And this was actually cut out of a, a couch that was destined to not be a couch anymore. And so um, one of the ladies, she took a, 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 a box cutter and she cut away and she cut out all the different dies. So these are different materials that you can cut out of the thicker dies. So when you do these journals, it doesn't just have to be chipboard and mat board. Here, I'm gonna just jump to this one here. This is the regular um, journal one uh, from Eileen Hall. This is also made from Dana Fink. This is my very first one, and it got me totally addicted into journals. Um, I was not a journal person, and you get the little elastics in here so you can put more pages and books and calendars, whatever you want. There are so many things I'd like to just show you just on this one, but I'm just gonna flip a few little pages. And this is actually corrugated that you can, you can um, you know, cut out of and all different kinds of uh, materials that you can cut and decorate with. So that's the actual same one as well. Now going back to that passport journal, with the passport journal, the pages will fit this other one. This is called notebook. 
This is the die right here, and it actually, it's called Notebook. And with the Notebook die, it's just basically one, one through, uh, one through the die cutting machine. So these ones right here were all made with the Notebook die. And you can see this one is actually stitched up into like a little sewing kit, a zipper all the way around it. This one is really thick. It has all different kinds of mixed media things on it. I don't know exactly the materials. This I did not make this, um, but it's just beautiful. I just love the, it looks like almost kind of tea bag, um, you know, making your paper look older. And if you have older books and stuff like that, you can always kind of cut them up if they're a book that you'd like to do that with. This is like a vinyl material. So cute. So, so cute. And then there's this one right here. This one is actually really cool. You can't really see it very well, but it has a lot of dimension to it. And it actually looks and feels the way that it was bound in here. Somebody did a really phenomenal job. It's like a real book. You know, you can almost just write yourself a whole book. Um, this might be a good time to do that as well. You know, so um, just all the different medium pocket notebook. That is this one right here. And what's really cool about it is the way that the spine goes. And so the spine actually um, goes, you know, from kind of smaller to a two inch spine. And let me show you some different things that you can do with it as well. So you can kind of see the different thicknesses here. These ones are all about the same, but you can get, there's one that has like almost 200 pages in it. So this is like a little taller one. Out of the chipboard map where it kind of looks like a farmhouse type of paper. You can make it a really nice recipe book, but you can do that with just like any of them. Okay. So this is really pretty. Here's just another one decorated. You could do some stamping and coloring and water coloring. Uh, we do carry the Elizabeth Craft watercolors as well. They're really phenomenal. Um, you can just do different kind of washing and all of that onto your mat board and give it a different look, little painting, little dry painting. And then this one, it actually, it almost feels like a, um, a placemat kind of. So it's actually much thinner um, because of the way the spine isn't sitting like this, but it actually has this really nice feel to it. So you can do different leathers and, and suede's and all of that too that you can um, cut out of. So those are really great. Now, this is the Traveler's Journal by Caitlin Lazardi and Sizzix. And with the Traveler's Journal, this is just another size. This was also made for me as well. Uh, this is just out of some fabric and a beautiful embroidery on the front of it. And you can put all your little journals in there. It has a little pen holder die so you can keep your pen all together and a little elastic piece so you can go around so you can keep it all closed. So there's one more I don't have a sample of it from Eileen Hull. And Eileen Hull, this one is her tiny bookcase and her tiny book. So could you imagine all the different books and everything that you could make? And it actually puts it in, you can put it actually in right here into the tiny bookcase. So this is another great. What I wanted to do is I wanted to remind you again of our amazing show specials. Um, we have the surprise Sizzix craft box, um, Maria style. And we got that as a little video added on to this video to kind of show you the really cool things. Um, that are in there. You get free domestic shipping on all orders over $50. The coupon code is Maria Therapy with a number two at the end of it. You get 25% off of those lines right there. Sizzix, Elizabeth Craft Designs, Renea, Riley and Company, and BZ Crafts. Um, don't forget that we also have the Big Shot Express for only $169.99, normally $229. Spend $100 after discounts to receive a zipper, procrastinate bag, and goodies while supplies last. It has valued of $19.99 in there. So let me get started here and show you the craft box.
Okay, everybody, here's the big reveal. This is the new Karen Berniston line. There are a ton of dies that are coming out. This one is the Bitty Ball Pop-Up. He is so cute. It's a mini miniature version of the surprise pop-up ball. And these are the dies that you get down here. And when you put it all together, it flattens for mailing. Check that out. This is how it flattens out. The sample shows the little dies and everything that go, that were decorated with it. So those are the other sets that you can get. And wait till you see the, all the other things that you can do with it. Okay, here it is, animal add-ons number one. Check these out. You can make a pig and a fox and a cat. And I'm sure that there's other things that you can make too with your creativity and imagination. All right, so let's go to the next one. We've got animal add-ons number two. So cute, look at him. He's adorable. Oh, that elephant and the giraffe. He's kind of a short little giraffe, but he's so cute. He's so funny. Um, these are all the dies that you get in the sets, which are in the bottom corner of your picture. And here we go for the next one. We've got the flip frame pop-up. I've got a sample of that. I'm gonna show it to you here in a second. And it is, it folds flat. And you can see down here how it folds up into your card, okay? And what I wanted to tell you is that you can pick your own card size. Choose your own card size. And I'm gonna give you an example of that with one of our older sets um, here in just a little bit. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, let's go down to this one here. This is the pattern plate. It is the fronds. But it's not just a pattern plate. Check this out. You can use them for backgrounds, layering, stenciling, and embossing. So don't just think that it's just for die cutting and laying it down. Look at the three different ways that you can use this. It is phenomenal, just all the different ways that you can use that. All right, here's the next one. And it is the landscape scene. Oh my God, these are so cute. Oh, look at that. I like it in the black of the silhouettes. And then if you notice, there's the crosshatch die that was used, the crosshatch rectangle. That gives it another little flare there for some fun layering and texture. Here's your dies that you get in the set. Oh my God, it's so cute, the landscape scene. Here's the next one. It's the pop and swap. Oh, he's so adorable. It's almost like a little, he just little pops out at the bottom there. Look at that. The upper panel disappears and the lower panel appears. You can see how it's kind of shows the little arrows there and another one there. It makes great window cards. Oh, the pop and swap. That's super fun. Okay, and the next one for the pop-ups is going to be the purse pop-up. You could make it into a luggage. Just think of the things that you can make with it. It makes a great suitcase. Oh, it's adorable. And I've actually got a sample of that one too. I'm gonna show you here in just a moment. These are some phenomenal ones, everybody. Check it out. Okay, so we're moving on over and we have the safari animals. Oh, they're adorable. This little smaller version and everything. So we've got the elephant giraffe and the hippo. He's so cute with the little tutu around him. And then we have the gnome and Santa. She so can make it into a gnome, you can make it into a Santa, but those are just adorable. I love the little mushrooms, those are so cute. And with all of the gnomes, you also should get the fairies, backyard charms. These guys are great. And with the charm sets, you don't have to use them as a charm. You can cut the little, little top of it off that puts the little jump ring in there. And you can use it just as a regular embellishment die on your cards or your paper crafts. And we've got the doll up charms that's going to go in with the purse pop-up. And that's really a cute, that's gonna be really popular too. But all of Karen's dies are all really popular. So here we go with the fast food charms. How cute are those? They make me really hungry. And we've got Go Wild. 
We've got some samples we're going to be putting on the site here for you too right after the video. And then we also have, these are great, wedding day and then happy anniversary. So, and then also with sadness, we have with sympathy. So this is the new reveal from Karen Berniston. And then here, let me show you some of these cards here real quick. Oh, look at how cute. This is make a wish. And let's open it up. And it's got a shaker in there. And that's a little pop-up frame. The flip frame pop-up. Got the happy birthday, which is item 1030. Okay, so now we've got this one right here. Another flip frame. Hello everyone, this is Maria from itscheaperthantherapy.com. I'd like to thank you for joining us today for the Die Cuts to Die For event. And I hope that you enjoyed being here and everybody having a great time. I know that I did. This is an amazing, amazing day. Check out New Reveal, Karen Berniston. This is amazing, all of these dies. Can you believe it? You can get them all right here at itscheaperthantherapy.com. Thank you so much for joining. You all have a wonderful day and happy shopping, y'all.